two weeks ago hundreds of young men women and children in but on a journey hoping for a better life for days no one knew what had happened until the few survivors were rescued and taken ashore in southern Greece out of 510 people only 41 survived most were from Somalia Ethiopia and Sudan the survivors told us every child was lost except this little boy called Abdurrahman we met him and his father on a beach near Athens and we tried to piece together what happened their memories are painful and confused but they agree on one thing at least 50 children died that night يا وحب بالابطه انا اشهدك لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله نبت باديا ددك قار وحي وتين جاكدي وتين او فريم بي وكحرين فريم بي قار يرينين مركا كنتي وحنا نقطي وح لا يابل صوبت وما شو وحن كويني ضد عن اسك صور عمي اصحابتي نقال يا ابي شكون With hopes of a better life in Europe, they paid the people smugglers around $2,000 to get them to Italy. Thankfully, little Abdurrahman seems to remember very little of the nightmare. His mother was left back home, and now this relative is looking after him with his father. There is uncertainty over where they began their journey. They say Libya, but if it was Egypt, there is fear they will be forced back there. They went to sea on smaller boats. They said the plan was to transfer onto a larger vessel. This all happened in the dead of night. The women and children were loaded on first. The boat was already full. We are hearing the screaming, the screaming, the screaming. They say, Muhyiddin, save us, Muhyiddin, save us, give us a hand. And they don't know how to swim. Some family, some women, they have a pregnant. And some babies are so small. We can't forget, we're not going to forget them. With the added weight, the boat capsized and went down within minutes. They didn't stand a chance. Only three women survived. Suez is one of them. Her brother was trying to help her get aboard the bigger boat when it started sinking. She made it. He drowned in front of her. <sighs> أنا وصلنا قضي وتجنا ويدون تأكل عين وحأجي ذيك اللي هي دت دون توصل بدون ت أصير سير لقضي ويرشان على سوبة بادي ما يسوبة بادي اللي هي دتك دتك وقيل ما يقصد تجا دتك وش هذا لا وأنا بدي بادي لا أنا ساعد لا <laughs> the survivors say the smugglers abandoned them, escaping in one of the original smaller boats. The only act of humanity they showed that night was throwing them a satellite phone, and their trauma. It took them three days to remember they had it. Finally, they called the Coast Guard, who explained how to use the GPS so they could be rescued. This is the moment when the rescue boat arrived. So few 
were left to save. Abdurrahman survived because he was traveling alone with his father. They hadn't enough money to bring his mother. So when women and children boarded the boat first, Yasin respected them and stayed back. It saved their lives, but the only emotion he feels is guilt. والله وحن دريمة يعني نيجب أدوين دريمة يا أنا جو اسمع عن الله هين يعني واتكسر بالدالي سأشيل كاسة ووحن نيدك هاي ما دام ده كاسة دينتين أنا جن أنا عتمن دون وقت جد دون صباحات أنا بالدالي دون نيد يقومي بالجريمة كنت أنا أروح وما أشيل كاسة لعي حنون كذا نحن دريمة كذا قفي جوب جوج أها ودعونا هاي This man watched his friends die. Liban has just showed me pictures of his friends who perished in the sea, ten of them in fact, here on, on his phone. He said he has been receiving messages from back home, more than 500 relatives of those who died in the sea. Most of them never made it and have left behind families in mourning right across Africa. But for those who have, they are determined to find that life. They say they owe it to the memory of those who were lost at sea.